One of the things I like about Premiere's timeline is that, uh, you know, as you're playing, you can resize the timeline, and it'll keep on playing. Um, I would like to be able to click and drag, as you can over here, not in a track, but, you know, and you, you'll see that the playhead is still moving. But if you do it in a track, like right here, the playhead stops, and that's kind of annoying. Um, I understand it could be some like technical thing, but I mean that's something that I I would hope that um you know it, it would be a nice little feature to have to be able to just you know drag things around while the playhead is moving. Obviously, you see right there that it stops, um, so it would be nice to kind of just be able to drag things around while the playhead is moving. A cool little um feature here that I that I like is in um in Adobe Premiere is uh sub clipping. It's um not as it's not as good as Avid um in that let's just move this over for a second so this is your sub clip in the timeline if you see right here it says sub clip um, uh, you know that's one of those things that um, that I think it could be improved upon uh, if you're you know somewhere lost in your project or let's say you, you know you have these bins closed and you hit M on the keyboard for match frame it'll bring I'm sorry. You, well, another thing too is that you see right there when I did it, it didn't work because Video Track 3 was selected. So if you hit Video Track 1 and you press M, then it'll match frame to the not the topmost one, but whichever one is selected, which is great. So um, you know, from here you have your sub clip loaded into the timeline. Remember, this is a sub clip. Um, now, if you press M again, it doesn't jump to the master clip, which is kind of annoying. It would be nice. That's uh, a, a nice feature in Avid. Um, and I think that that should be implemented into Premiere. Uh, another cool thing though, um, a little workaround with that is that you can do right click and do reveal in project and then it'll open it up right here. Um, again, it, it doesn't really, you know, it's not as good as Avid, but you know, once you have, um, the, the, the location shown to you in the project, as long as you keep your naming convention the same, as you see here, it's 0003. L1, uh, and then you can see it says uh, sub clip. So as long as you have your naming conventions the same, um, that would you know that's then that's fine, because then you can be like, okay, well this is the sub clip and this is the master clip. So then you can just click on the master clip and you have access to the entire thing. Um, another cool thing though would be w which would be really nice is if um, you pressed M on the keyboard to, you know, um, on, on a sub clip to open it up into the uh, source, and if you pressed M again it would open up the master clip. That would be nice um, because uh, it just is a bit easier to jump to the, you know, you don't have to do this whole right click thing and, and you know, reveal in project. But um, another little feature I think would be kind of cool is if uh, you did that on a sub clip. Again, this is another sub clip. If you take a look right there, it says sub clip. Um, if you press M and then it loads it into the uh, the source, and if you press M again, it should jump to the master clip with the in and out points of the sub clip. So I think that would be an, a nice little feature um, that uh, that they should implement into Premiere.